Hello students and welcome to my channel Maths Hub. So today in this video, I'll tell you about the partial derivatives of higher order. So if you haven't seen my previous video on partial derivatives of first order, you are required to check out that. It will help you to understand the concept of partial derivatives of higher order, right? So now what do you understand by partial derivatives of higher order? So for higher order, we will go it in a sequential order. So we'll start from first order to second order. So we have in the previous video, I've just laid focus on that if a function is a function depending on two variables, x and y. So the first order derivatives are basically fx and fy. So in f of x, we are taking the derivative with respect to x and keeping y constant. And in the second one, we are taking the derivative with respect to y and we are keeping x constant, right? Now, similarly, what is the next? We are taking the derivative of fx. Now it can be taken with respect to again x, that is f of xx. So f of xx is defined as del f by del x. And again, we take the derivative with respect to x. So it is del square s by del x square, right? Then similarly, we can take the derivative of f with respect to y also, fx with respect to y. So that is f of yx. So what is f of yx? We are taking that derivative of so instead of yx, let me explain what is f of x y first. So taking derivative of x with respect to y. So it is curl f by curl x and then we take the derivative with respect to y. So that is del square f by del y del x, which is f of x y. Similarly with f of y, what can we do? We can take the <coughs> derivative <coughs> of f of y with respect to x and then we can take the derivative of f of y with respect to y again. So what is f of y x? It is del f by del y and then the derivative with respect to x, which is del square f by del x del y, which is f of y x. Likewise, what is f of y y? It is del f by del y and then derivative with respect to y. So that is f of y. So these are all the second order derivatives that we have from z equal to f of x comma y, right? So the, taking, the, uh, the process of taking the derivatives and all the rules of derivatives are same as what we have done in class two. So you just have to take the concept that when you are partially taking the derivative, whatsoever is the other variables, you have to keep them as constant, right? So let's come to the third order derivatives now. So now from second order derivative, so you can see that we had f of xx. So if you take its derivative again with respect to x, you will get f of x, x and x, right? Similarly, you had one term as in the second order derivative, f of yx. So when we take the derivative of f of yx again with respect to x, we will get f of x, x, x. Similarly, you had a term f of y, y. So when we take the derivative of f of y, y with respect to x, we get f of y, y, x. Likewise, if you have f of y, y, you can take the derivative with respect to y again. So it is f of y, y, y. Then we have f of x, y. And when we take the derivative with respect to x, you will get f of x, y, x. Right? And the process goes on. Right? Okay. So now let's take one example. And you have to find the second order partial derivative of this function f of x, y, where f of x, y is 3x square y plus x into log y. So first of all, let us try to calculate what is f of x. What is f of x? f of x means the derivative of the function with respect to x, keeping y constant. So derivative of 3x square will become 6x and then we keep y constant. And in the second function, you are keeping y constant, so we keep log y constant, and the derivative of x is 1, right? So from here, let us try to calculate what is f of xx. f of xx means taking the derivative of fx with respect to x again, keeping y constant. So that is 6x. Log y is constant, so you will keep, sorry, f of xx, yes, you are taking the derivative of 6xy with respect to x. So y is kept constant, so uh, you will keep y constant, derivative of x is 1. Then log y is already constant, so the derivative will become 0. Similarly, let's try to calculate what is f of x, y. So derivative of x with respect to y keeping x constant now. So we are taking the derivative of 
will keep x constant and derivative of y is 1 plus now we are taking the derivative with respect to y so log y derivative is 1 by 1 right similarly let's calculate what is f of y f of y means taking derivative with respect to y keeping x constant so 3x square and you are keeping taking derivative with respect to y keeping x constant so it is x upon now from here let us calculate f of y x derivative of f y with respect to x so it is 6 x plus derivative with respect to x is 1 by y. Likewise what is f of y y taking the derivative with respect to y again so this derivative is 0 here it will be x and x is kept constant derivative of 1 by y is minus 1 by y. So, these are your second order derivatives for the given function, right? Okay, so you can check out the results and then you can come back to the next question that find the second order partial derivatives for this function. So, you can try this as an exercise and you can check out the answers after doing it on your own, right? So, the answers I've already provided to you. And now we move on to the next practice question. So just try these questions. Find curl cube u by curl x curl y curl z. If u is equal to e raised to power x square plus y square plus z square. So let's try this question. So curl cube u by curl x curl y curl z. It means that we have to first calculate curl u by curl x. Then we have to calculate its derivative with respect to y and then with respect to z, right? So let's see what is curl u by curl x. What is curl u by curl x? It is e raised to power x square plus y square plus z square multiplied by we are taking derivative with respect to x. So it is 2 times x. Now what is curl square u by curl x curl y? So it is the derivative with respect to y. So we keep x constant and derivative of this exponential term is e raised to power x square plus y square plus z square multiplied by now derivative with respect to y will be 2y, right? So this is something like 4xy e raised to power x square plus y square plus z square. And then we finally calculate curl cube u by curl x, curl y, curl z. So now we have to finally take the derivative with respect to z. So x and y are both constant. So 4xy exponential term is e raised to power x square plus y square plus z square multiplied by derivative with respect to z is z, 2z. So we get 8xyz into e raised to power x square plus y square plus z square. So this is nothing but 8xyz multiplied by u. Right? So this is how we solve these questions. And you can check your answer. So it is 8xyz into u. Right? Okay. So now let's try another question. We have the find the higher order partial derivative for this function f of x, y. So here by the uh, higher order means we have to calculate at least the first order and the second orders, right? So f of x is taking the derivative of this function with respect to x. So you can check out that we'll get y square into e raised to power x into y square. Then you can check out what is f of y. f of y is 2xy into e raised to power x y square. Then we have f of xx, f of yx, f of xy and f of yy. So you can check out your answer by actually performing it on your own, right? Okay, and then let's come to this question. Prove that y is equal to f x plus 80 plus g into x minus 80 satisfies this equation. So according to this equation, let us try what is the left hand side, right? So you can see that what is del square y by del t square? So it's a second order derivative. So for that, we need to calculate first of all, what is del y by del t? Y is given to you. So what is del y by del t? It is f dash multiplied by derivative with respect to t. So that is equal to a. 
Then we have plus derivative of d would be d dash multiplied by derivative with respect to t is minus e. So now what is del square y by del t square? Del square y by del t square would be f double dash into a into a that is a square plus g double dash into minus a into minus a that is again a square. So I can take out a square common and I'm left with f double dash plus g double dash, right? On the right hand side, what I require, I require a square curl square y by curl x square. So let us see what is curl y by curl x and then we will find out curl square y by curl x square. So what is curl y by curl x? It is f dash derivative of x plus dt will become 1 plus g dash, right? And then what is del square y by del x square? Again, another derivative. That is f double dash plus g double dash. So when we substitute the value here, we will get a square del square y by del x. Right? So this shows that the left hand side is equal to the right. Right? Okay. Now, let's see what are the check your progress questions. So do try these problems. Right? So the answers are given along with it. So do try them and if you have any doubts, do let me know in the comment section and thank you so much for listening to me and those of you who have liked the video, do hit the like button. Those of you who have not subscribed my channel, do hit the subscribe channel, subscribe button to get the video subscribed so that you get my latest videos and do share the videos with the ones who need them and believe in yourself and you will definitely succeed. Thank you so much.